Hello, welcome to Astro and Luna Tarot. My name is Holly and we are looking at the energies of the last quarter moon and it's in Aquarius moving into Pisces. So this is a time of review. This is a time where we kind of take stock of the intentions that we made on April 30th or around the new moon solar eclipse in Taurus uh, three weeks ago. Uh, so you want to be looking at um, what kind of, uh, what are you harvesting? You know, what has um, come in? Have your intentions um, come to fruition? Um, what do you want to release? This is a releasing energy as well. And you know, what are you wrapping up? What, what projects are coming to an end? Where are you receiving payment for uh, work that you've done or you know, energy that you've put out there? And um, you know, what, what do you want to continue to uh, grow? So it's like if you're looking at seeds, you're sort of uh, sorting through, picking, picking what you want to continue to put energy into. But this definitely is a time where you're also releasing. And it, it, it continues to play on that um, Scorpio full moon lunar eclipse we had a week ago. This um, releasing energy is going to continue to happen. Um, you might also want to review where maybe you've made some mistakes and uh, you know, how can you uh, take responsibility for that? Um, on a larger scale, same thing. If you look back to what you began or what you were intending on, like what your focus was in your life, in January and February of 2020. Now, most of us probably are just like, everything just changed, you know, the next month, boom, we had um, the pandemic that changed everything for everyone. Um, what was it that you were uh, beginning then that um, you're either seeing rewards for or um, shifting gears. I mean, we shifted so many gears, but if you can look back and see um, what do you wanna keep doing? What do you wanna let go of? Um, it would be good to review that as well. Back to January, February of 2020. Um, also right now, uh, Mercury is retrograding and we're still in, it's, it's this, this like little bit of time left, like in Gemini moving into Taurus. So when Mercury retrogrades, we start to uh, review kind of what we were doing, what we were thinking, our communications um, in the last, you know, few weeks. Uh, and so we're going to start to gather more information about, um, some ideas that we've had, or maybe like something we put into motion before Mercury went retrograde. Um, and that's, that's a good thing. Uh, so you might be rethinking things, which is, you know, for Aquarius, that's, that's for Aquarius moon, right? The, the moon energy, um, that's a good thing. You're, you're just finding ways to um, look at things, think about things in a, from a different angle because all the other planets are in a different place as Mercury retraces its steps. Um, and it's gonna go into Taurus and with this information you're gathering, you're gonna start to get ideas about how you want to um, physically make things happen. So, Mercury's going to retrograde back into Taurus and then it's going to pause and move forward again. So you're going to get to review, you're going to get to review um, a little bit of Gemini into Taurus twice. 
So you're gonna start to get some ideas. You're gonna start to see things pop up. You're like, wait, I dealt with this last week. Well, now you're dealing with it again. Um, and, and rather than get annoyed by it, just be like, what is the information that's coming in? And, um, and then just if you can slow down and um, know that you're gonna be gathering information again, like next week, then you can, you'll be able to see things from different angles and you just have more information to work with. Uh, we have Mars in Pisces as well, at the very end of Pisces, it's about to go into Aries, sextiling uh, Pluto in Capricorn. So you may be feeling this like, like that's a really powerful energy. And again, it kind of magnifies that Scorpio full moon we had last week because Mars and Pluto are both rulers of Scorpio. And so there's gonna be some, um, possibly some issues of power and um, maybe some things coming up sort of out of the blue. We might be, uh, you know, kind of combined with all that mercury, like really kind of digging up some secrets. And, you know, it's just more information. Um, also, you may be feeling this like, like Mars kind of like pushes Pluto. They're both really powerful planets. There's, it's, it's kind of like this, like Pluto's this urge from like, on, from the deep depths, right? And Mars wants to move, wants to really just like go. Uh, in, in Pisces, it feels a little bit weird because it's, it's very fiery. Pisces is this ocean of imagination and dreams. So you might be like feeling like you just, you wanna act on um, some kind of creative uh, urge and it's gonna feel really powerful. And in fact, to possibly act on that may be a very powerful thing. So if you have some ideas or like some dreams, you're just feeling like, wow, like I wanna put this into action, um, go for it. Perhaps don't let it out into the world just yet, but just start to take the action on it. And um, that brings us to our cards. So first we have uh, the lady, I ended up pulling three cards, the lady of staffs. So um, this, this kind of makes me feel a little bit like uh, the Merc little bit of Mercury retrograde and also the, the Mars like starting to, like just about to move into Aries. Um, there's this uh, feeling of um, wanting to start new things. So, uh, you know, there could be like, whatever the start is, there's this, it's, it's kind of like self growth and development. So um, using that sort of quiet time, like it's a, we don't have to be so loud about it right now. Um, allow yourself to kind of feel the direction where you want to grow. And also, you know, uh, the staffs is creativity and passion. And, um, the, the, uh, the lady is also the page. Um, they want to have some fun. They want to explore. So like, let yourself explore your creative ideas. There's some stuff that's stirring and, um, that's pretty exciting. And also, you may be hearing from people, this is also a Mercury thing, um, they haven't heard from in a long time, or people from your past, or there might be some ideas coming in, you know, you, like you might get a phone call from somebody that, that triggers an idea that um, you either thought of and f kind of forgot about, or, or that it's just like, oh, wait, I can do this. Um, there's going to be some, there, it's basically inspiration. So um, you're inspired, you're starting to, and, and, and uh, that inspiration is really powerful right now. Okay. Um, now we have the, uh, 
the six of coins. So here, um, there's there are two children and this child is uh, passing a coin with the owl of Athena on there. So there's this like passing of wisdom. There's some um, generosity that maybe you're, you need to sort of, with it being reversed, take a look and see where people have been generous with you. Um, there may be places where you have money coming to you that you just like haven't thought of, or um, there's, uh, you know, there might be, uh, you might be receiving gifts that you just haven't really thought about as gifts, like, um, or you might be giving as well and not, um, maybe not realizing that uh, you might be giving a little too much or, or the other way around is like, there may be, you might be starting to feel this urge to be of service somehow or that, um, or that uh, you have, it might be dawning on you that you have some wisdom to share. It doesn't necessarily have to be money. That's what the coins are like, they represent money, but there are, you know, like review what it is that has value to you and where you feel valued. And um, notice the exchange. You may be missing the, um, there just might be this feeling of, of like not being totally aware of, of the really cool exchange that's happening right now. And then finally we have the, uh, eight of swords and this deck, it's also called the beast. And, um, there are, um, obstacles to your thinking from your thinking that that is releasing it's letting go and that's great with this um with the moon um as we start to wane into the next new moon there's a releasing energy and and so any like there are ha there are some mental constructs that no longer work for you that you may have been feeling um um chained by or jailed by right uh this poor little guy here is chained up and there are these swords in the ground those right now you're feeling this ease in um becoming aware of what those beliefs are like you may have some beliefs that keep coming up maybe mercury is going to start to um kind of like show you same thing um as it moves into Taurus and you start to deal with some of the earthy stuff, these beliefs that are holding you back, uh, right now there's going to be this, There, you may have some aha moments and you'll be able to um, let go of what appears to be chaining you. And the same thing here, it's like, as you let go, you're going to be able to see more of the abundance that is all around you and how uh, innocence and joy are part of that abundance. And then again, the first card here, the Lady of Staffs, you're like, the, the energy really is to let the new in, you know, as you're you know, like keeping an open mind right now as you sort of reap the rewards of the last month and of and 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 basically of the last two and a quarter years, um, back to January, February of 2020, like it's time to do it's time to do a happy dance. <laughs> it's time to do a dance. 
and become aware of the gifts that you give and the gifts that you receive and let go of any beliefs that no longer serve you. I'm probably gonna say this again and again, letting go of beliefs that no longer serve you, but this card is basically it. Um, so that's the energy for the Aquarius new moon last, I'm, I'm sorry, not new moon, the Aquarius last quarter moon, also moving into Pisces. So Aquarius like wants freedom. Aquarius is all about freedom. And then Pisces moves into like your deepest dreams, your longings, your, you know, what it is like wild fantasies, right? So you got to have a free open mind in order to really get down into um, freely creating a wild dream. So, so go for it. That's, that's the energy right now. Um, it's a little bit like, yeah, it's really cool. It's really cool. Um, and, uh, with that Mars passing by that s little sextile dance with Pluto, there's, um, and also that scorpionic, um, uh, eclipse energy that's still happening, um, this inspiration that you may experience has the potential to be transformational. So ride with this energy, letting go of beliefs that no longer serve you and uh, bringing in joy, bringing in inspiration and passion to start to enjoy it right now and also start to think about next week as we have the new moon coming in, where you want to set intentions next. Hope that was helpful. Um, enjoy the energy of this last quarter and I'll see you in a week. Peace. Oh, right. I always forget this. If you'd like a reading with me, go to holly-troy.com slash tarot and you can and book a reading or you can look for the contact page and contact me there. All right. Bye.